The big picture here is, as an investor, can I continue to largely ignore impeachment as a risk to my portfolio? Because I'm, I'm pretty much still of the view that while there is an impeachment process in the House, the Senate is largely going to cancel it out. That's correct. But also the question is, uh, even if it were to occur, what would it change? I mean, we're coming into an American election anyway, so we have uncertainty anyway about who the next president's going to be, although right now it's looking a little likely that it may still be the same president. Uh, in which case, uh, the bottom line is, as long as he's, e even if he is impeached, there still is a conviction process that has to occur. That's a different thing. You can be impeached and not convicted. Absolutely. So, I don't know. I think uh, markets are... The more important thing is what happens in the longer run. And is there really a probability of a president arriving who's going to profoundly change the economic landscape of the country? And right now, that doesn't look as likely. Edward, what's your take on this? Because at the moment, the financial markets are ignoring U.S. politics. It is going to get interesting in 2020. It is going to be something that the market has to pay attention to. We're not there yet. We're, we're kind of watching the impeachment story, but it does seem as if we have a, a, a House that's willing to, willing to, to impeach, but a, but a Senate that's not willing to convict. Where do you sit on this? What, what kind of effect do you think this has, both from a market perspective and economically, if anything at all? Not only are markets ignoring American politics, Americans are ignoring American politics. It's increasingly clear that this is just a big political stunt and the, the, the likelihood, the probability that the Senate is actually going to uh, uh, convict on any, any charges are just extremely low. If you look at election betting odds, the probabilities of various things, including the president uh, serving his full term, it's uh, well over 90 percent at this point, uh, the highest in his uh, presidency. So I think it's just a, a big political a charade. People are uh, uh, all up in arms about it. But as a practical matter, I think most um, market participants are saying it's not going to happen. And, and uh, why even pay attention to it?